$25,000 is on the line and I need your help. My name is Ashe Simba. I'm the founder of Sugar Plum Scrubs, a wellness company that offers self-care products made with lavender from my garden. The BEBC Society is hosting a black pitch contest where businesses like mine get to pitch innovative ideas that could possibly help the black community to thrive. You're probably wondering why you should vote for Sugar Plum Scrubs. Let me tell you a story. Three years ago, I traveled to Tanzania solo. I intended to stay for a month. I ended up staying for four. While I was there, I ran out of my favorite skincare products. Now, I figured it would be easy to find alternatives. But as I scanned the shelves, I noticed most of the products I was seeing were either discontinued, contained toxins like toluene, lead, and talc, or actually had bleaching agents. Now, my skincare routine is a very big part of what makes me feel beautiful. So you can imagine my disappointment to find that in Tanzania, people are being exposed to toxins and can't trust popular global skincare brands. Everyone deserves to feel beautiful, but no one should have to sacrifice their health in the process. This is why Sugar Plum Scrubs is introducing Plum Collective, a wellness studio and retail storefront that brings skincare and self-care products from socially and environmentally conscious African businesses all throughout the African diaspora to Tanzania, where the skincare and wellness industry is projected to be valued at $3.6 billion in 2024. We would like to create an informative and educational space that showcases African businesses and creates opportunities for partnership between the collective and businesses within Africa. Additionally, we would like to host health-focused activities and events and eventually scale to other countries in Africa. Vote for Sugar Plum Scrubs in order to create opportunities for African people worldwide to strengthen the bonds of solidarity between people of African descent and indigenous people as well. There's an African proverb that says, if we want to go fast, we ought to go alone. But if you want to go far, we want to go together. Let's help one another and participate in Africa's economic destiny.